Let me also say that I have heard a lot of people talking this and that and that. I have nothing but the greatest respect for the governor of River State. He is the governor. And we are not members of their party. And we are not therefore part of their problem. We are members of the APC. But the 27 House of Assembly members are members of the APC. And so they are our own. We must defend them. We cannot say because they decamped from PDP, they are a different APC from our own. That is not how party politics works. I decamped to APC from PDP on national television. On national television, 11 of us, including Senator Aki, we de defected to APC on national to. to to, from, from, yes, we defected to APC on national television. We didn't lose our seat. So we cannot come here today and begin to support people saying that people should lose their seats because they decamped to our party. We will not do that. I have called for peace, negotiation, and working together. And as a statesman in River State, I will continue to call for that. I'm not going to start being uncharitable towards the governor because I have said or because I'm working with the FCT minister. No, I will not do that. I will not do that. But I will defend our party. And whatever position the party takes, I will defend that position. So I just want people to be very clear as to what our own goals are. We are APC members. The minister of FCT is a minister in the APC government and we are going to work with him. So when you live here, let us know that we have taken a decision that ends the crisis that was started in the All Progressive Congress. I think that was in 2019. I can't even remember. 2018. 2016. My brother. The thing that they said will not last six months has lasted so that people cannot even really remember when it started. But we are not any political Bruce Lee. We cannot just continue to fight without reason. The reason for that fight is over. And therefore that fight is over. Luckily, the person who is now the head of the party was somebody who was part of that fight. And he knew what was the cause of it, and he knew why we ended up where we ended up. If we don't take that opportunity to end the fight, is it when another person who didn't know us, they say there came a fellow who did not know Joseph, is it when another person who does not know us will come that we will end it? This is the time to end. And let me tell you people something about reconciliation. All of us say we are Christians. But people are ready to fight until they die, especially politicians. Look at our former, two former governors from the same village who are relations. For the years they were in power, they could not make up. But when they have left power, they have made up. Is that, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Is it not better to make up when the person is in power so that you can benefit from what you are doing? Tony has been my friend. He was here, we fought together, we suffered together. Today he's chairman. You say I should not reconcile with him. We like quarrel with him till we die. Or is it when he's no longer chairman and he cannot help me? Then I now go and reconcile with him. It doesn't make sense. It is better to reconcile when you are you can use one another and be useful to one another. So I will reconcile with Winke now that he's FCT minister, he's working with the president, and he can be useful to us. And he will help us when it comes to our Tinubu thing here in River State. Because he contributed the most to Tinubu, and he is working directly with the man. This is the time to reconcile. It is not tomorrow when all of us are out of office, and then we meet each other and then say, oh, my brother. He says, no, he's my brother now. That's how we are going to do it. So, <laughs> I, there are a lot of things I would have said. In fact, for the first time, in my life, I actually prepared a written speech. But when I came here, I decided that I would not read it. 
But we don't want to cause more trouble. Let us leave trouble where it is and simply say that the quarrel we had with Abeji is no longer necessary. He's no longer the leader of the party as far as the APC is concerned here in River State today. He doesn't have that overbearing influence over the party and we can therefore go back to the party. I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you 